This tool is gonna blow your mind because most people think AI automation is expensive because that includes subscriptions, credit limits, free trials. Well, I used to think the same until I tested something a few days ago that genuinely surprised me. At first, I thought it was fake, but it wasn't. Channels on the YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, they are using the exact same setup, publishing content at scale and getting consistent views. With just one click, it can generate hundreds of AI videos and images in bulk without any limits. You can use it for animated stories, psychology content, AI comics, history videos, documentary style content and more. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how it works, how you can use this free and unlimited system. So this tool is called AutoWhisk and it's completely built for the Google Whisk. So let's get started. The first thing that you have to do is open the link in the description and it will take you to this document which contains everything, all the links and prompts and everything to get started. The first thing that we are going to do is just download the extension, just click on this AutoWhisk extension link, open it up. It is going to open the Chrome Web Store and where we have to install this extension which is the main key part of this video so click on the add to brave in your case it might be uh, having add to chrome or whatever just add it and click on add extension and once it is added in the browser then you will be able to use it so right now it has downloaded the extension now it is installing the extension okay so let's wait to finish once it's installed since it is already installed so go back to uh, just click on this uh, icon here click on it just pin this extension this is auto -vis. and if we click on this extension you will see this so don't worry right now uh, it might be you might be like scared like what is this language so click on this one here and click on English and that's it it will be done in the English so right now we don't uh, need to use the extension in here for now so close this one now and go back to the docu document here and it says AI story generator GPT, which is the GPT that is going to help you to generate stories. So click on this link. Uh, you don't need to use this uh, GPT generator or something. You can just create your own stories, but this is the easiest way and somebody has built it. It's good. Okay. Now, since we have it opened up right now, and now let's go back to the document. It contains a whisk AI, which is the main, main important thing of this video where we are actually going to generate. So open the link and this is how it looks once you open it up. So whisk is from the Google and it can let you create unlimited number of images. No matter what the, the quality and everything is already top notch. You can see all of the images. These are created by users on Google Whisk. Okay. Now, so to use this, you need to have a Gmail account. So you have to log in the account here. I mean, uh, it says, you know, sign in or whatever, just log in using your Gmail account and then click on enter tool. Then you will be on this page. Okay. This is where we are going to do all the magic. Okay. Go back to the Whisk. So comes the voice AI agent uh, for this one. This is basically for the voiceover. I will come to that part later. But this is also for the meta AI to generate uh, if in case you want to use it for the videos. But now what we need to do is we need to come up with a story. So I already have this master prompt that you can also use, which contains the character prompts, the, the scene background. So basically, um, this master prompt is kind of guiding the AI to what kind of things that we want. So you only have to provide the, the basic simple idea of the story, for example. In this case, we have studio uh, Ghibli style type of story about a small hardworking boy helping his grandmother in a quiet countryside setting. So basically, this is the, uh, the, the, the idea that we have to generate a story on. So I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to simply go ahead and copy the entire thing till the voice over. OK, copy it. Go back to the AI story generator that GPT just paste it in here. Now you might say like, why do we need all those things? See, uh, when we are going to create a story on whisk, I mean the video or, you know, all the things, the images and everything, we need a character consistency because I mean, if you're simply going ahead and just generate a story using a bunch of prompts, it is not going to keep the character consistent, right? So for that thing, we need to come up first with a character. We will lock in that character and a scene background, the setting. And then after that, we are going to, you know, make a story based on those characters. That way it keeps the character consistent. I'm going to show you how. So right now it has generated the character prompts. 
and the scene background prompt and the small voice over because it's for only for the 30 seconds depending on you for the length that you want okay the first thing that we are gonna do is we're gonna go with the character first let's go ahead and make the character first so we're gonna go with the young boy and the grandmother first let's copy this young boy let's create it well here I'm gonna show you the extension just click on the extension in here and it will be like this click on this one this is 7.5.1 uh, classic version just click on this one don't click on that one so click on this one and you will be on the screen and this is the extension how does it look and you can see control settings and everything basically it's the same thing that we just did recently but it is for the whisk okay so if you can uh, click on the settings you have a bunch of settings we have auto download images option as well but uh you can just disable it you can also configure the folder where do you want to download the images well bunch of settings you can tweak the settings but let's go back to the control well since we need to generate the character first you can either uh, go with, uh, go by like simply manually typing the you know putting the prompt in here or you can simply go in here so i think let's do it here okay or here well if you want to do it here or a whisk you have to paste both prompts we need the first character one and character two okay but make sure that you are going to remove this character two in here every return or enter we say uh, i mean every the line break that we do is uh, considered as two prompts okay so here i put the enter and then i'm gonna be adding the scene prompt as well just to get the background right let's go and paste it now if i click on start it is going to generate these uh, characters and the background let's click on start and then it says run on this project right i'm doing it since you can see here the images are being generated and right now the settings that we are going to generate is going to be the vertical format you can see here it says i have just selected the vertical format you can go with the square one or the landscape one depending on your choice right so we have got like two images of a character and by the way this is auto downloading you can you may have seen this here just check this one out this is already downloading the images here check this one okay so we have got the character image and also we have got the the grandmother mother image and then also now we are waiting for the environment that we're going to use okay now comes the real part here since we have got all these things okay now we need to choose which one we are going to use as a character so for that thing first do you see this add image here you can simply click on add images here or you can simply go back to this uh, this uh, small icon like you know it just click on it and it will pop up this one here what we are going to do is we can simply drag and drop the uh, you know, characters so uh, in my case I think I like this one you know uh, put this you know drag and drop this on the subject just keeping that that one as uh, you know as a main character and in here i think both both looks the same just go with, go with this one just also drop that in the subject as well because this is the character now coming back to the environment or setting part um, i think uh i like uh, this one just go ahead and drop it in this scene okay it is going to use these as now characters and the scene now since we have got this set up okay go back to the document and copy this prompt to generate the images for uh, for the voiceover and go back to the gpd just paste it in here directly and it is going to provide us the prompts for each sentence let's wait so since uh, i have already uh, designed the prompt in such a way for example if the sentence is too long what it can do is it is going to generate you know multiple prompts for that sentence okay to avoid the you know to so so that in case we will not miss any scene okay since it has generated almost all the prompts we have like almost seven scenes now we are not going to copy the sentence six and this and that because it contains voiceover as well so what we can do is so go back to the document and copy this prompt the cleanup prompts which is uh, basically going to do the same thing uh, to provide us only the prompts for the images hit enter see we got the prompts line by line we're going to simply just copy and paste it directly in the uh, autovisc okay 
let's go and wait i think that's it maybe like 10 okay copy click on copy code here go back to the whisk now let's do this magic if you can see the prompt list here just delete everything in there just paste it in here so we got like eight images click on start run on this project and here we go the magic is happening right now so we have got 11 images in total which is really good which is going to uh, you know make an entire story very beautiful because it is not going to miss any scene as you can see here the characters here since this is the first line and you can also see here the, the this was our character right now also let's wait for the second uh, character to pop up maybe uh, the second character might be in the third prompt or fourth prompt but this guy is actually working hard so this was the story about let's wait to uh, till this is uh, finished and that way uh, by the way yeah there's one thing the scene background is also the consistent here you can see here this one this was uh, this was uh, this was the you know our scene background and it is kind of same almost the same in here as well and yeah let's wait see the grandma is also the same wearing the same color of clothes you can see here so it's also downloading the uh, you know images automatically as well since we have checked on the automatic downloaded and by the way these images also are going to be placed in a separate folder in the whisk download it's very organized whoever created this extension is really amazing saved a lot of time no doubt this is not an automation i would say a lot of people might say in the comments that hey this is not an automation i know this is not an automation but if you're going to do the same thing yourself manually it is going to take you a lot of time right you have to just you know copy the prompt paste it in here click generate and go back to the document copy the prompt paste it here generate and you have to also then download one by one each uh, image and then yeah kind of organize them it's a lot of time consuming task but here with this uh, extension it is a life you know you know a time saver honestly so uh since uh, the nine images are done we need to wait for the uh, entire uh, this thing uh, to be finished let's go move ahead on to the voice over part so go back to the document click on voice gen in world ai which is a basically a free platform you can generate unlimited number of voices voice over whatever that you are going to use this is completely free and by the way you can clone the voice and it is really 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 amazing okay so this is the platform you have to log in i think you may have already logged in from the previous video so you may have an account in there but if you don't just click go ahead and just uh, make an account it's free and by the way it also has an api you can just use it in anywhere that you would like to use and by the way we have a ton of voices in here like you know uh, we have already like you know copied different voices from 11 labs and it is really working fine so let's go back to the gpd where we have our voice over that's here copy this complete voice over and go go to this in world ai paste it in here okay so let's go ahead and choose uh, any of the voice if i go with the ashley let's play this this is a preview of the ashley voice mm -hmm. i don't like this one okay uh De deborah this is a preview of the deborah voice mm -hmm. I think uh, I think let's try let's try let's click on generate in the quiet of the countryside the boy starts his day early he carries water pulls weeds and listens closely when his grandmother asks for help nothing so I think it's good and I think it goes well with the script and you can just, uh, kind of you know tweak some settings in here if you want to just uh, since I, I, I like it so I'm gonna just simply go ahead and download the audio okay perfect now let's go ahead and just you know make this video so we have to open any editor of your choice i'm gonna be using the filmora which is the easiest one for this type of task basically i use the premiere pro but for this one i'm gonna use the filmora okay so the filmora is open up and i have already just you know placed the uh, all the clips and everything all the images and everything on the timeline and make some simple edits and if you can see the simple the how does it look this is how it looks so 
so that is about it okay so you can simply go ahead and then export the video uh, directly and it's gonna save it but here I'm going to show you one more thing here as well which is this if you can see the meta AI because right now we have only used these images and turned that into uh, the uh, complete small short video but what we can do here is if we go to meta AI and in here what we can do is we can simply go ahead and click on here uh, create and first thing you may have to uh, log in using the Facebook account then that, that is the only way that you can use this to uh, you know to make videos so once you're on here just click on the create and click on air and just click on the video and then it says upload image I'm not gonna do the complete a uh, complete video uh, I'm just gonna uh, show you how it can be done so for this thing uh, let's click on upload image and use this image Okay, now we need the uh, prompt, right? So in here, if you can go back to this here, we I already have this another thing. Now prompt for images to video. Now, since uh, we have to copy this entire thing, paste it in the uh, chat, uh, in the GPT chat. We will just paste it in here and it will provide us the video prompts for each of the prompts, okay? For example, this is the first prompt I'm gonna be copying and go back to meta and just paste it in here and animate that's very easy and easy a way to do it so basically uh, it has given us this an animation as well we can simply just download the video sorry in here as well and then yeah I think that way you can just come up with a different ideas different uh, stories and make uh, images and then convert those images into videos and we already have those kind of problems where we need to pay for AI you know for API's and different things platform fees to generate this even this kind of thing and you have seen uh, the you know I won't say uh, you can just create hyper realistic uh, in, in images using whisk but since I have already shown you what type of content is going viral it's not about the quality it's about what you are putting out there so that was it and and if you guys like the video and if you have any questions uh, you know just drop in the comments and please leave a like and share on this video and the last video that we just posted the recent one you guys have just showed a lot of love on that video and I'm really really thankful to you know to all of you guys so yeah thank you so much have a good day bye bye